Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you can see, what I am sporting up on this screen... Who we're going to be talking about tonight or in the morning or in the afternoon whenever you're catching this video okay and that's why i want to tell nini stop just stop it freeze her right there and just stop all the mess stop all the mess honey because like dr heavenly husband said on merit the medicine take out the own take out the plank at your eye before you try to correct somebody else Okay, that was that was boldly done. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I still got to do something on Merit and Medicine, too. Uh, but, <sighs> Nene, <laughs> you hurting your own self. And you just don't know. And your fans, your fanatics, they can't do anything about your situation that you're in. And the ones that are really going gung-ho, <laughs> saying, yeah, um... You doing the right thing. You doing this. No, they telling you the wrong thing. Your ass need to shut the fuck up is what you need to do. Get in your lounge, your bar, whatever. Create an atmosphere where celebrities want to come to your establishment and patron you. But see, no, that's too good for you. Okay, that's no, that's not too good. That's just too beneath you in a sense. You can't just be hanging out in the club or your lounge or whatever. Even though when you had money and you had yourself on Real Housewives of Atlanta, these are the things you said you wanted to do. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you pray for stuff and you just might get it. That's not worthy of you having. I'm saying this to say that, Nene, you went overboard. You played your hand, you was trying to play the poker face, and you lost big time. There is no coming back for you in the industry. There is no coming back to you. Three words, Zeus Network, okay? And anybody that would try to think to want to hire you, maybe out of pity, or I don't know. Do you actually think big, executive programming of shows would take the risk in having you for an employee having you as an individual contractor do you really think they will put stock in you on what you've been saying doing acting on social media against andy cohen nbc universal who else? Dead Bar Mercury. These are big entities that people are wanting to get a part of, wanting to be on sitcom shows or reality shows. They give y'all money. That's what you're missing. I don't know how much Bravo was paying you, but between you, Kenya, and Candy, y'all were getting banked. Y'all were getting paid. Only thing that's different with, uh, from you that's Candy and um, Kenya has definitely uh, mastered the art of staying relevant and staying with, um, what do you call it, a good continuity of uh, worth ethics, worth ethics, because we do remember when Kenya called herself getting married, didn't want to tell nobody, all right? Bravo was mad as hell at her. They didn't even want to see her for that full year that she did that mess. And she probably had to really negotiate and have them taking it into account that uh, Mark would be uh, in the scenes for the new upcoming season if she was allowed to come back. Kenny was doing everything on the low, low. 
Okay, and next time we saw she was on the show, and of course, Mark just, ugh, he took over the show. He grew legs, he grew the whole damn forest, and it just snuffed Kenya out, okay? We couldn't even be like, Kenya, 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 babe, we couldn't even wake her out, out of her sleep. She was a sleepwalker when she was walking around now with Mog and having him as her storyline, as her husband, all this kind of crap. When he, every time he get on the screen, he would say things that were so dehuman, <coughs> dehuman, and um, it just, it just wasn't a good thing to be in. You know, like I said, I don't know if it was fake or it was real. At this point, it really doesn't matter. Meaning Kenya's marriage tomorrow. What I can say, he played a very toxic person as being her husband on the show and being the daddy's baby, you know, the uh, Kenya's baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? Because it started making Kenya act all kind of willy-nilly and crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like she would compete with the love for Mar between her and her baby girl. So she finally, more than likely, sought help, sought psychiatry, you know, tubes sought out a psychiatry so she could psychiatry so she could sit down vent with someone that don't even know her they're looking at it from a non-biased standpoint to just see what was in Kenya's head what was she thinking and where did she want to go Kenya finally got up figured out Mark wasn't a big deal that she had made him to be then she started seeing herself without Mark okay that was the first step then she started putting all her attention on her career and splitting time between career and her daughter. And with her having a daughter, it has brought Kenya way out from being a negative person to be looking at. Everything that was going on with Kenya that we were seeing, it was very positive. You see what I'm saying? Now Kenya's at the age and the stage that she has her career on track. She has a beautiful daughter. She's, you know, uh, raising. I wouldn't say by herself because behind the scenes, you know, she might be leaving it with her cousin and her auntie and stuff like that. So Brooklyn's getting a well-rounded type of childhood without seeing Mark all the time. But Kenya is still there for her baby, nurturing her baby, uh, putting in good works for her baby. And um, we became to like Kenya. Because I didn't like Kenya at, at, at one point. I, I didn't like her. You know what I'm saying? I thought she was doing too much. With that fighting with Portia here and there and all that kind of stuff. Ooh. And then she made up that little twirling thing. Uh, tornado twirl, 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 twirl. Now she got I am the moment. <laughs> and I love it. I love it. She said, I'm, she said the moment is me. I am the moment. I mean, she need to get drunk more often because she's very playful. She's very loving. And she just trips the hell out of me when she fell on that flow. <laughs> or she was running up Sheree's steps trying to get to the top, knowing the door to go wasn't at the top. But she was letting them run after her. She was, just, she was funny as hell. That's all that I can say. So definitely Kenya redeemed herself. She got herself back on the show. She did not talk bad about um her employer, she did not talk bad about Andy Cohen. You know, everything that she probably felt, she put it to the, the wayside. She put it in the back burner. Okay, let it stay there. Let me make my money. Let me do what I came here to do, which was really to act. Because this shit up here ain't no real stuff going on half the time on um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. But in order for them to get paid, they have to be in bad situations or precarious type situations that they probably wouldn't want to be in but since they are part of this show they got to do in and everything because hey Deb my Margaret tells you to move you move they tell you to jump you ask how high you know what I'm saying that's just the rules when you're not playing in a field that's palatable to your taste you shouldn't be there you see what I'm saying and see that's what Nene just can't seem to wrap her mind around and the people that are going so hard for Nene can't wrap their heads around to support her and saying bag the fuck off okay go incognito let your lawyers do what they need to do okay don't add fuel to the fire making your case impossible to tolerate 
Because I know, I know Nene is doing some shit behind them uh, closed doors. She's wanting somebody to give her a show. And she's wanting um, probably to get back on Real Housewives of Atlanta with all the episodes. And I'm like, stop it, Nene. Stop it. Stop it. Do you actually think these people that you are suing for everything you said going to give you something where you still profit off of them? No, 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 no. no. Come on, Nene. I thought you were smarter than that. Remember, three words. Zeus Network. Okay? That's where you need to be. And then I don't even know at this point, will they give you a try? Okay? But they full of mess. If they can get Jocelyn Hernandez, you know, <laughs> her own show. And then she was on that uh, one-time cameo part on uh, P Valley. Okay? I'm like, okay. Okay, I see you, girl. You're still in that ratchetness shit, but you're making it do what it needs to do. All right? But Nene, Nene. Stop it, baby. Stop it. It's kind of being redundant here. It's kind of putting you in the mind of putting it in the mind of how we think that you might be losing your case. Is that could that be the situation going on? Because I promise you, they're not going to give you a show. Okay, they're not going to have you stronghold them. Like you got their hands around their necks. You don't think they're going to move? No, 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 no. And to tell you the truth, you shouldn't be hoping, praying, wishing that they're going to give you the money that you can live on for the rest of your life. Because you're too prideful. You can't see yourself going into a normal way of living uh, with the everyday folks. Because uh, you know it would be backlash. Like, oh, hoo, hoo, you was all this, that, and the third. And you did, and you lost all of this. And you, you tried to get all of this. And you, you talked about these people. Yes, you will be the talk of the town. But guess what? It will die down. You can survive. But see, your problem is you want to stay in the limelight. You want to be rubbing nose and elbows with the who's who. Because you know what that felt like. And you know that's where you want it to be. I don't told people you are a white woman in a black woman's body. You want it all and then some. But you still want to run your mouth for the negative. Now, those two will never stand. A house that is divided shall never stand. But you want to get on your Twitter and still talk-ish. Okay, let's pick it up and see here. You went to Twitter 13 hours ago and put, they stop every job opportunity that comes my way. Well, you a rich bitch. Remember you said those words? You cash Trump checks. Why are you wanting to be in reality TV anymore? If you're that rich... You should be sitting doing a, what do you call it, a charitable cause. Build your foundation. Uh, take up a particular disease that's um, not being funded. You know, I can't think of anything right at this point. But we know we got cancer organizations. We got, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, sickle cell type organizations. Philanthropy type work, Nene. Do that. Then you could still be rubbing heads with the who's who. But it'll be a different arena you know you can like a 503c i think that's it was 501 y'all tell me about it in comments because i'm kind of tired tonight i don't three three videos and you know, i need to come off the tube because i'm kind of losing my voice but i just had to get this out of him because it just bothers me that this woman who says that she got all she got all you know she cashed trump checks why are you out here in the public defending yourself that's why you have lawyers that's why you're going through this arbitration type thing because yes everything i believe everything you say it happened to you but guess what you continue to take those trump checks okay you continue to take those bravo deal mockery checks okay like they say you don't miss your well till your water run dry and yours was being overflowed, overflowed with opportunities until you wanted to do what you wanted to do. You wanted to act a fool on this show. And then you wanted everybody else to be accountable for their actions. But you don't want to be accountable for your actions and the uh, nasty deeds that you did. And you want to call out everybody like Kenya, Candy, 
Cynthia. Who else you done fell out with? Eva. I can't think of anybody else, y'all, at this moment. But you fell out with a lot of people that could have been your allies. Because they may be or maybe not. Or charade, too. Uh, could contest to what you're saying. But see, it just wouldn't be about you. It will be about a whole lot of African-American folks, black folks, wanting to pull the same stunt that you're paying, you're pulling. But you just was on College Hill. I know they didn't pay you no money. They didn't pay you no money. I know they did. Not what you're used to getting. That's why I say Candy, Kenya. Um, who else on the show? Candy and Kenya, the longest running ones. We'll just use those two. They know what platform they own. And they know when their uh, bread is buttered. And well done. Okay. They know where they need to be. How long they want to be in this vicious cycle of reality. Stardom. And they're making moves. You see what I'm saying? And you don't like that. Because you're saying that. Day. Who is the hell? Who the hell is Day? Who is that? The people that you're suing, they name. The people that you're suing. No, they're not telling. I honestly believe they're not telling her. They're not telling people in the industry to not hire you because you're giving them full fledged coverage of why they shouldn't hire you. Going on social media, putting all the BS inside there, then throwing idle threats. Talking about, well, I have recordings. Well, I hope you gave those recordings to your lawyer because they may be looking at getting tired of you trying to stronghold them. No, these are white Jewish people, honey. You ain't finna stronghold them long or you might not be strongholding them at all. They're giving you what they feel that you're worth. That's why you're still in arbitration is what I'm thinking. Okay, I'm logically making my, what do you call it? deducing my could be's my pros and cons of what could be happening out there but with you sitting up here still being on social media that's telling me something that is not going in your favor okay not going on your in your favor at all but yet you still hollering out here you still crying about Po me, po me, they did me this way, that way, but you still were taking their checks. Now, I want anybody that's on them Nene stances, that's on Nene's side, to put in the comment and tell me, why do you think she has a case? And should they sit there, out of all she done did and said, that we know she done did and said, okay, on her own recognizance, if you were Delmar Mercury, would you hire Nene? That's the question I want to know. Her stance, her fanatics, those ones that want to support her and they think she's right, she just didn't And I told you, I didn't, I didn't disagree with what she's saying may have happened to her. I fully think it is true. But you decided to stay in there. And when they start Xing you out or you felt in your mind they were doing you dirty, then you want to come out here and holler, you know, this, that, and the third. When you should have been, when you were on good terms with them, you should have been meeting with them saying, you know, this is being done to me. I am following your company's rules and regulations, their mission statements, their values, and their, you know, their core piece of who, what they make uh, or who they are in reality TV. You know, that cornerstone type of a situation. Now, you were an asset to them. But see, now... You're tarnished because you don't say it too much, too fast, too soon. And they are they have lawyers, Nene. They have lawyers, okay? You're not being like Mariah. Going in there saying a little something on social media. But when the meat and potatoes start mixing together, she wasn't saying shit. Because they were taking care of her. Because she didn't dog them out like you're dogging out them now, Nene. And like I said, you got time, I got time. But, honey, they may just give you money. I don't know what the denomination would be. But then, with that flip side, and people seeing you, how you're acting, how you're portraying yourself, you think they're going to hire you, girl? Do you think? And if you were the company that she was suing, how would you feel? How would you feel about it? 
because we all know racism still is out there. It ain't went nowhere. Discrimination is still out there. It ain't gone nowhere. But we have learned to adapt and work around those issues. The majority of us. Okay, to get out there and go to work and don't want to go to work because you got to, you know, put up with some bullshit. You see what I'm saying? Because bullshit is on everybody's job. I mean, you even get, uh, what do you call it, when positions come up and you think you're the better candidate for that position. Well, they might have a good old boys club, a good old girls club where they're going to hire outside and not promote the people on the inside. That shit has happened. I'm sure it has happened to more than enough people that want to get up, you know, get up here and say yes. Nene might be right or Nene's right. But if you were the entity that was employing her, would you hire her? Would you try to get her another piece of action out there in the reality world? Because she can't go into film. She can't do none of that. Because she refused. She's too prideful. And she refused to be learnt or taught new tricks. And look at Cynthia Bailey over there. Just, just growing, 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 growing. Because she put down every, whatever was negative about her looks or her being, you know, pretty much written off of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She just took her lemons and made lemonade. The girl is over there taking cameo uh, sh uh, spots on uh, Lifetime. And probably the own network going to be next. And then when she gets a little bit more comfortable in playing a role where you're actually not in a situation where it's real for you. She's learning to act. And portray a certain character. But Nene is over him being a character. Okay. And the whole thing about she saying. Ooh. I'm glad. Um, what did she say here? Let's see. I am happy I was able to help all the other black women. Get job opportunities. They are working for them. Uh, well Nene. Like, you, you, didn't, you didn't make Real Housewives of Atlanta. Real Housewives of Atlanta made you. Because. You were just a candidate in the pool of people they pulled from to create this show. Now, you had the personality they were looking for, and it served you well for a lot of years. But again, you were very prideful. You were always like, this is my baby. This, that, and that. I'm like, did you put money in and trying to bring this show to fruition? Did you do any of that? Because if you didn't do any of that, the show wasn't yours to begin with. But they put up with that too. They put up with your diva type attitude. Now again. If you were the entity that she was suing. And you knew all of this stuff from Nene. Because she didn't hide it. Would you hire her? Okay. Now we go back to. Um, she said. Um, he stopped me from working. Because I was a threat to his career. Yet he was able to abuse me for years. Nene, ain't nobody did no R A P E, okay? On you physically or mentally. You was cashing them checks. You were living the lifestyle that you wanted to live. And what happened to you traveling with a uh, shopper? Man, where's all that? All that shit got shut down. Because your lawyers probably told you to shut your mouth about that lady in this circumstance that you have yourself in. Because she ain't, it's mom's the word. She ain't said nothing. Okay? Hadn't really been posting nothing either. But she wants us to feel, we can feel empathy for her. We can feel uh, some sincerity towards her plight. But we want her to take accountability for her actions. And I really, really feel that if she did what Mariah Huck did, said it for a while and then let it go. You see her case. I mean, I think her case was going on about six years in before she saw any revenue. And she ain't talking about it because she probably is on a gag order that she can't talk about it. That should have been your montage, your uh rock of gibraltar you should have been going to for advice but again you're too prideful and greg probably had to tell you that when he was living you're too prideful nene you gotta walk well you gotta crawl before you can walk okay you gotta get that milk before we can give you that solid food you see what i'm saying <sighs> and then she said i want to release these voice recordings so bad 
I'm like, nay, nay. <laughs> right now, it's neither here nor there. We don't have to hear it because we're not your judge, uh, jury, or your executioner. We don't. We can't do nothing for you. That's up between you, the Lord, and that ensemble um, employer that you once worked for. It's up to them. It ain't nothing we could do him for you. We didn't want to boycott. <laughs> your other teammates didn't want to boycott. And if the shoe was on the other foot and they were in your situation, you wouldn't help them. Nene. You wouldn't help them. Because the reason why I know that, I look at your mannerism. I look how you carry yourself. You have no ethicalness about you. It's all about self, 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 self. I mean, some of these people that are taking uh, on your plight and, and cheering you, if they came up to you wanting to get a selfie or just a conversation with you, you probably wouldn't even give it to them. And then they'll go be thinking, well, she really is nasty. She really is because that's all you've shown people. And that's what people are going to remember. And like I said, you may have got a good lawyer, but their mom Mercury got lots of lawyers. Okay? Lots and lots of lawyers. And if they settle with you, the only reason why they're settling with you is because they don't want a floodgate of other people saying the same thing that you said. And that's the, really the bottom line. But my thing to you... You need to be very prayerful, okay? Somebody may open up a door for you to be back in the business. But with you doing this, that, and the third, and everything is negative, 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 ain't nobody going to touch you, honey. Ain't nobody going to touch you. And like I said, you don't miss your water until your well run dry. And your account must be looking pretty bad because you haven't had the foot payroll and, and anything you need for your lounge okay you need some more heavy hitters because ray j trying to pull in the young crowd for that weekend or whatever and i'm sure you had to pay him because he ain't coming nowhere unless he getting a check his sister brandy told him that his mama was his manager at one time so i'm like girl i mean you need to have a lot of people that you had connections with when you were in the business, where's those people? Hmm? So, see, me personally, having your attitude, having your demeanor, having your characteristic, shit, I close that club down, that lounge, because it got to be taken from whatever grid left you and whatever monies you got from selling your uh, house as well as your uh, condo you were living in downtown. Mm-hmm. I go somewhere on an island, if that's what you like, tropicalness. And I spend my time just enjoying life simple, simple lifestyle. Not trying to rub and, and, and get with the who's who and try to go to all these events that they go to. Because they don't give a shit about you, Nene. They don't. They are, they're very passive with you. And even if you were on good terms with them... Girl, you don't have enough money to be rolling around with them. Because they've been in the business a very long time. And they know people. They have connections. And you don't. Mm -mm. Only thing you have is your mouth to speak out saying your truth. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. That's all I got. Because, like I said, if Nene had something... She would just go on out and put it, you know, out on in the in the public view. But what can we do to help her? We can't do nothing. Mm -mm. Can't do anything. We can't be for Nene. We can't be against her because she's doing the, her own damage to herself and her reality TV career. So, yeah, like I said, and I stand by it. Nene didn't make a uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. It was other people and other people's personality. She was the main focus because she was always out there being more vocal. Okay? And she had some good storylines here and there. But, I mean, if you're going to call Kim a racist, you might well call Nene a racist too. Because she always said something back nasty back to her. 
called her a, a, a marriage. What we call them? A, a person that break up people marriages and stuff. She called her the uh, garden tool. She said, close your legs to marry men. And look, looky, looky, looky. Here comes Cookie. She messing with a married man, allegedly. But if she can have the common sense and the decency to stop talking about that situation, she need to bite her tongue every time she feel like she want to touch the internet to say something slick fast and hurry about her case. Some shock need to come in her body. Because she don't need to be talking about it. We don't need to know anything about it. Because you think Nene going to tell you how much she do get from the settlement that I'm pretty sure she's going to get? Do you think she's going to tell you? No, she not. So I can't deal with a person that won't tell me everything up front. And I can help them. But you got to be honest with me on what's going on, what's being said. What do you know? Oh, we ain't got a deal. We don't have a deal. And then she want to fight with the Jewish people and the Caucasian people. Oh, I'm like, where's her team at? I think her team left her. <laughs> I think her team up and left her. Mm -hmm. When they saw Nene wasn't going to be viable to them anymore, she couldn't do things for them anymore. They they jacked up. They just got they pulled up their anchor and got the hell on. Because if you're still in the business, trying to be in the business, you ain't gonna hang around nobody with no negativity. Because that's gonna connect you to that person, what that person brings, the energy, her behavior, and all like that. And they're gonna be looking at you crazy. Like, okay, you gonna side with this person? That tried to sue or did sue a major conglomerate such as Bravo, such as NBC Universal. Are you kidding me? I still want to work in the industry. So moms is the word. That's why the, uh, her uh, so-called few people she's saying she got them on the show. She made them, you know, like they didn't contribute anything to the show with their own personalities and their own uh vices that they want to bring to whoever they trying to say they are so it's be a reality show it's supposed to show their real lives but as we know a lot of things are scripted for that uh drama effect they don't necessarily necessarily uh, necessarily be able to tell you how to pull this off they leave that to your vices to do but they just put up something as a storyline and see can you bite it or where you think it would walk and take legs and start walking a scenario that they would give you and see if you could play it out and like i said you know nini started losing brownie points with me when i saw her arguing well i saw it on tv she was arguing with somebody in the airport here in atlanta hartsfield where she was she didn't want to recognize who they was she didn't want to do no autographs she didn't want to do no uh selfies none of that and then um uh, You know, I think somebody uh, had got on Twitter because they saw Nene in one of these beauty supply stores. And uh, they wanted, I think they were from out of town too. It's a white couple. They wanted to um, get Nene's, uh, you know, just give her her, uh, pay homage to her in a sense. I ain't going to say brazel, but just say, you know, who they were. They love her on the show. Just that there. Nene paid them dust. She did not even look at them. Just say, hi, how you doing? Yes, it is me. What can I do for you? You want an autograph? Want a selfie? You know, she could say, let me give you an autograph because I want to get too close because of COVID. You know, everybody would have understood that. You know what I'm saying? But, mm, -mm she did them dirty. It <laughs> made like they weren't even behind her. And they showed the footage. The man actually put the recording the audio, with the audio as well as the visual on his Twitter account or Instagram account. Show did had Nene up and them looking, not looking at them, not looking at them at all, trying to buy a wig or something. Honey. So in the old adage that we know really well, believe the person and their characteristics when you see them acting out of things that you find you wouldn't do or you wouldn't have that person in your life. When they show you who they really are believe them and that's all i got for this video guys y'all like it love it, gotta have more y'all know where to come remember to subscribe to the channel and go check out our other channels too my other channel as well and like comment and share my video 
All right. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.